This is the craziest, most impressive CS2 workshop map that's come out yet. And in this video, we are going to explore it, go over all of its features and talk about exactly how you can play it. Before we get into that, I just wanted to remind you that I am hosting a giveaway for this Huntsman Autotronic in field tested condition, $250 value. To enter, all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed and leave a comment down below. I'll be picking the winner as soon as we hit 5,000 subscribers. This is the Minecraft map made by LilyQ on Twitter. They've been making a ton of really impressive workshop maps recently and I might actually be going over some of the other maps that they have made in future videos, but this is their most popular map and it is for good reason. Now they completely recreated Minecraft in CS2 and the craziest part about this is all of the different features. So you can actually go up to item frames and pick up the weapons from the item frames. Not only that, but there are custom skins for the weapons. As you can see here, this is a gold deagle. It kind of reminds me of the gold deagle from call of duty 4 if you guys have ever played that back in the day and not only does this map look super impressive but it has a bunch of really impressive features like for example you can completely break blocks as you can see here do you want to trade and flip skins without losing money to high fees then gamer pay is the marketplace for you GamerPay is the only trusted CS2 marketplace where you can buy skins with absolutely no fees. This means that you can find the best deals on skins and get the most value for your money at GamerPay. And most skins are listed for less than any other marketplace because of the low selling fees at just 3%. GamerPay is also a great place to trade skins because you can sell your skins and buy new ones without losing money to unnecessary fees. Even better, if you sign up with my link in the description, you can get a free 5 euros when you deposit at least 50. Thank you to GamerPay for sponsoring this video and don't forget to sign up using the link in the description and the pinned comment below to receive a free 5 euros when you deposit at at least 50. Every single block on the map is completely destructible and as you can tell, different blocks have different strength. So if we shoot the grass, we can see that it explodes right away with one bullet. But if we shoot at the stone, we can see that it takes multiple bullets to actually blow it up. Three with the mag seven. And if we shoot the leaves, you can see that with one bullet, we can take multiple leaves away. The coolest thing in my opinion is the TNT. You can actually pick up the TNT and walk around with it. And not only that, but it actually explodes. As you can see here, if I shoot this TNT, it will actually explode and lag my game a little bit, but that's besides the point, and make a huge crater in the map and explode all of the blocks around it. But that still is not even the craziest part. The craziest part is that if you pick up a TNT and you jump and shoot it, it will actually boost you into the sky now this is absolutely insane and it makes for a bunch of really crazy possibilities and some really insane plays to be made also the slime block right here if you guys have ever played minecraft you would know that it actually bounces you up and it is the same thing in this map as you can tell it bounces you super high into the air which is a really really cool feature but there's actually a ton more to explore in this map as you can tell there is a whole underground area and sometimes if you actually search the these boxes you can find items inside of them if we open up this wall right here with the AK we can see that there actually is some stuff behind this as well there's a big list of supporters there's a 57 on the wall over here and also an M4 on the wall which has a custom skin which is really cool in my opinion and then if we continue to move on there is another little cave area that you can go through with some more TNT there is even a block of coal right here and if you break it of course it drops a Molotov which is a super super sweet feature and if we go around right here to the other side of the island, there's another cave with cobblestone in the wall. Now, if you've ever played Minecraft, you know that this can only mean one thing. So if we break all of these blocks, of course, on the other side, there is going to be a mob spawner. Now, this is a super cool feature because if you've ever played Minecraft, you know that this is actually exactly how they look. And they have ported this over into CS2 perfectly. There is also a chest right here that you can actually open. And of course, there is an AK inside with again another custom skin making it green there's also this little mine shaft area underneath a block of melon right here that you can break another slime block that will boost you all the way up into the air a cool little beach area over here and there's actually one more spot to check out which is this little house over here so i'm going to pick up this tnt and just go ahead and boost myself over there because it is the quickest way to do so 
And once you get to the house, you can actually open up the doors, of course, and they have the Minecraft sound effect. Again, you can open up the chest on the inside and take the USP, a furnace, and a crafting table. A bunch of really crazy stuff on this map, and there actually is a lot of stuff that I have not gone over in this video, so I highly encourage you guys to actually explore this map by yourself. Because it definitely took a lot of time to put together, as you can tell. Every single block on this map is destructible, and there's a ton of custom artwork. As you can see right here, this is the CS2 logo, but obviously with a Minecraft character holding a pickaxe in it. And you can actually download this map right from Lily Q's workshop page. And if you go to their Twitter and click on the link in their bio, you can see a list of servers that they are actually hosting with this map on it. So you can actually play this map with other people and hit some crazy clips. I thought that this map was awesome and I definitely appreciate all of the work that was put into it. With all of the custom textures, sound effects, and different game design features that are put into this map, it definitely took a very very long time to make and I love seeing stuff like this because it definitely brings the creativity back into Counter-Strike. I remember in CSGO we had a ton of maps like this and I'm super glad to be seeing more in CS2, especially since you are meant to be able to do more with map creation. I am super excited to see what they make next and exactly how far the community can take this. If you guys want to see another video of me going over some of the other maps that they have made, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below because there are some really cool ones that I would be interested to take a look at. By the way guys, we now have a Discord where I am doing a ton of giveaways. The most recent giveaway winner was actually just picked last week, and I will be doing a new giveaway next week, so if that is something that you are interested in, definitely make sure to join. The link will be down in the description below. It is also just a really cool place to hang out and talk with like-minded people, and also stay in the know about news relating to CS2, as I post most of the stuff that I make videos about in the Discord beforehand. Also, YouTube tells me that up to 90% of people watching this video right now are not subscribed so if you just checked and you aren't please make sure to hit that sub button and click the bell so that you never miss another upload thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video it really means the world to me and i'll see you in the next one